Hey Dungebags, what's going on? It's Landon Remixes here, and welcome back to Dungecraft, the show where I do random stuff while playing Minecraft, modded survival series, and whatnot, blah, 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 blah. And first of all, we are in my Dungecraft testing world. This isn't actually the regular world, surprisingly. It looks the same, but uh, this is just my test world to take uh, screenshots and stuff like that in it. And this week, uh, as I talked about maybe doing last week, which I ended up figuring out to do, I have done textures for the hostile mobs, and I think I was looking for that word last week, and I was just like, the bad mobs or something like that. But I'm going to go through each of these and kind of explain what's going on and why is experience like floating around me. This is really annoying. Anyway, so the first texture is this skeleton here. Um, basically what I did is I made it... Uh, one thing about, I'll, I'll show you this with the creeper in a second here, but one thing that kind of annoyed me about Minecraft is that the mob's faces are kind of like, the, 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 the textures aren't like even for me, I guess. So I decided to make it uh, full black and the, the skeleton's face is more rather um, distinguishable now rather than blending into the rest of the body. Um, there's blood and uh, stuff spilling out the sides and the top of the head and some dripping like out the bottom onto his rib cage. And that's basically it for the skeleton texture. I'll show you guys the creeper one next because that's kind of um, it has to do with the same thing. The face, the creeper face um, for me was always the outline kind of like um, I have a creeper t-shirt and what it looks like on the front is it's like totally green and then there's this but I didn't want to make it totally green I just wanted to make the uh, face look like the iconic creeper face rather than like what it normally looks like in the regular texture which is it like cross-eyed looking down I just never liked that so I thoroughly enjoy this more I also gave it a little heart to symbolize um creepers wanting a hug <laughs> or whatever um, so yeah, I've all, I've always thought that way about creepers, like creepers want to hug, so I just put a little, um, 8-bit heart on it. Next is the, uh, the zombies, the, this zombie, um, the villager zombies have the same thing as the regular zombie, I just put this here to show you guys that, um, they basically both have the deal with it sunglasses, even though those aren't exactly the deal with it sunglasses, the, uh, render couldn't, like, Unless I put like a 64 by 64 texture pack on, there's no way I could fit on the uh, deal with its like official sunglasses. So basically the thing with the zombies having the sunglasses is that during the day they burn up. So I figured it would be just a cool idea to have um, the zombies wear sunglasses to protect them from the sun. Next is the Enderman. If you guys haven't figured this out already, some of you, a lot of you actually, have probably come from my Marble Hornets mod review. Uh, Enderman's texture is now Slenderman. I found this texture online, but I did do a lot of editing on it. Um, the shirt looked a little weird to me. I did a ton of editing on that. Made the tie red. Um, and dimmed down the facial features because it looked didn't look exactly like I wanted it to. And I'd link you guys, but I honestly forgot where I got the texture from. So... I'm just going to <laughs> claim this as my own because really no one owns Slenderman, but I did get this from another texture. I'm just going to put that out there right now, but I did do a lot of editing to it to make it uh, my own texture rather than just copying it exactly. Um, there's a couple more, and then I'm going to pause the video and come back when I'm in our regular world so I don't get lagged the crap out of. Um, there's the cave spider. If I could, well, actually, I'm going to bring over here so I can show you guys like up close and personal cave spider basically its eyes are now purple instead of uh, red and that's to distinguish it between the regular spider you can't really see it right now but it looks really boss um, I'll go in here with the mobs as you can see like I, I like that a lot better for the cave spiders actually and for the regular spider its eyes are now uh, green uh, kind of well, they're supposed to be green, but they keep, like, flashing. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's, like, the glow-in-the-dark thing. It makes it look a little more yellowish-brownish. But it is supposed to be, like, green. Uh, but it does look um, a lot different than the normal red. So that's how we can distinguish them now. If you already couldn't tell from the sizes, I usually can't tell from the sizes because they're usually not next to each other. But, um... Yeah, so that's just how those mobs work. There was one more, but I can't really show it right now. Um, cats 
the black cat texture is now like a full black cat rather than a black and white cat because I figured my cat at home he's um he's all black so I figured I'd do that in honor of him because I wanted to do that so anyway those are all the textures for this week and I'll come back in the Dunchcraft world in a moment Hey guys, we are back, Landon Remix is here, and I really don't know what to say at this point. As you can see, even the home screen of Minecraft is completely lagging. Um, I don't really know what to do at this point. I can't record this episode of Dungecraft. I've literally tried everything, and by everything, I mean everything. I've tried installing, or uninstalling each individual mod. I've tried uninstalling all the mods. I've um, I've gone in and tried to play vanilla no matter what I do I'm getting like a crazy amount of lag so basically all I can say is well I went and when I uninstalled doggy talents uh, everything in the doggy talents mod was lost so basically everything from all the mods I've had is lost in the series and it's basically vanilla anyway I was thinking maybe we could just play it like vanilla and then have Optifine or something like Landopolis used to be and even that wasn't working for some reason so I really don't know what to say right now I guess for now I'm just gonna say um, I'm not going to promise Dungecraft is going to be out on a weekly basis right now because I really don't know if that can happen at this point because last week it was lagging this week um, I wasn't even five minutes into the recording and all it is is lag as you can see even on this home screen right here normally it doesn't do lag here and it is for some reason so I really don't know what to say other than Dungecraft is going to need to be postponed until further notice and it really sucks and I don't know what else I really don't know what else to say like <sighs> I guess all, all that's left to say is that I, I hope you guys enjoyed what we've had so far of this, and um, I'll try to get the series booted up as fast as we can. Um, it will it will still start back up at episode 4, but it might even get pushed off until, let's say, 1.7 comes out. It'll just have to be, I don't know, like, I'm just trying to think here, it, it'll, I'll get it back up as soon as I possibly can. The mods, like... Everything is just screwing up right now, and I might need to update Optifine or something. Maybe that's it. Even though I played in vanilla and it was still like that, I tried recording in vanilla. Everything, as you can see, even on this on this home screen right now, it's not moving at all. So I really don't know what else to say other than um, uh, I can't really say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but the resource pack is still going to be worked on. I'm going to try to actually work on that still weekly maybe do a video updating you guys just on the resource pack um, but I don't know other than that there's not really anything I can do at this point um, with Dungecraft as you can see Minecraft is being terrible I might have to reinstall the whole thing I might have to clear out like a bunch of room on my computer there's a lot of different things I could do but for now I can't do Minecraft or uh, Dungecraft for that matter be more specific so anyway I uh, I'm sorry that this had to happen but I will get the series booted up as soon as I possibly can so with that I'll see you guys later peace out in response to the end of the last part of that video um, I had to restart Minecraft basically and this is the updated version of the the fixed Minecraft. Basically what I did is I backed up um, my important world files and all the important things and then I um, just left everything out. I'm gonna see if it's still unpeaceful. No it's not. So I'm gonna set it to that and walk around the town real quick just to test stuff out. Um, I decided I was messing around for a while and I just decided um, that I was gonna restart minecraft I didn't know really what to do I hope all my um, mob dudes are still here um, everything's running pretty smooth which I'm happy about um, smoother than it would be on whatever 
else was happening there. I can always get Optifine though, like these are really high settings right now, and I can definitely tone them down, turn the brightness up, do lots of different things, but um, there are lots of issues in the way right now, and okay, does he still have the JC name tag? Yes he does. Okay, things are basically the same, but um, the lag has mostly gone away. That was one issue solved. Oh, it's also on fancy graphics. That might can be contributing to part of it. I can turn off a lot of these things like clouds. Um, I'm probably going to end up installing Optifine again, but I'm thinking for now, uh, if I do decide to start up Dunchcraft again soon, it's just going to be vanilla for a little while. I think probably until 1.7 comes out. So I'm really sorry about that, guys, but I do want to keep doing this survival series for you all. And I really do like this... Um, it's running pretty smooth for being on fancy graphics right now, for me anyway, and recording, usually um, usually it doesn't do that that well. But if I can, um, basically I think the issue was Minecraft was so overloaded with everything that I had before, it just, um, it, it couldn't run good. So I had to restart it, and all, all the mods are gone, everything's basically cleared, and this is just... Um, the old world save file like it's the same exact world save file actually so everything's still here the, the exact same way I left it um, except the graphics are a little different I might install Optifine for this series but I really don't know right now like I said um, there are just some issues and it seems to be running a lot smoother than it would have and I could probably actually record an episode right now which is crazy to think about but I really can't deal with that kind of stress right now after all that has gone on tonight and last week. I could just, like, it's it's running smooth enough for me to do an actual episode, like I said. And there, <laughs> there goes the freaking music. Um, But I can get Optifine, turn some settings down, get the fancy graphics down. I do like the clouds, though. I do miss clouds in Minecraft, so I might um, keep those or something, but I think there's there's really a ton to do since the updates came out. Um, there's lots of stuff that we can do, like redstone and things like that, stuff that we just couldn't really do in um, previous updates, and there's lots of new features with seeds and everything, and we just gotta go exploring and do a lot of different stuff, but I gotta probably do that in vanilla if I want to do most of that, but then we can resort to mods later. But I think really mods might be the primary issue right now, so I don't really want to mess with them at this point, other than maybe Optifine. I might use Magic Launcher to uh, launch my Minecraft and then just have Optifine run on that, because usually my Magic Launcher stuff works fine when I'm working with Nate. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of weird uh, episode. Not really an episode, but I wouldn't say tragic or anything, but I don't really know how else to explain this. It's kind of just difficult <laughs> at this point. I think I might actually be on far render distance. If I turn a lot of these settings down, I could record an episode easily. So hopefully we'll be back next week um, just vanilla. And, um, I'm just not sure right now, like, everything's kind of confusing and, uh, stressful, but everything seems to be running okay, definitely better than all the mods running, and we might get them back if I can, if I can, then I will, but other than that, I, I really don't know, but I'll try to do my best, um, I messed around a lot to try to get this video running so I could explain to you guys so you wouldn't just be depressed like all week or whatever about like Dunchcraft not existing and who knows how long it'll be. It'll probably be back next week for just regular vanilla after I tone down a lot of the settings because this these settings right now I'm running fairly smooth but a lot smoother. In other words this isn't as smooth as I'd like it to be but it's a lot smoother than um than it was before which is great but um I'm gonna fix some of the settings so it'll run actually smooth like it does when I'm not recording. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this weird video. <laughs> I'll see you guys Once again, sorry for coming back so soon guys, but what the heck, beginning lag, like always, freaking, why did it have to do this? Anyway, um, 
I just came back to say that I did turn down some of the settings, like just after I ended off that recording, I, I just toned some stuff down, and Minecraft is running as smooth as I've ever seen it, basically. Um, when I'm not recording anyway, for a second there it was lagging quite a bit uh, while recording, but as you can see, I'm getting some lag spikes, but I can definitely fix that in Optifine. Um, I turned down a lot of the settings, as you can see the clouds are a little um, less poofy, and I, I fix graphics to fast rather than fancy and normal distance or normal render distance now and everything's running a little smoother I think I could pass off I don't know why I'm getting all these lag spikes like I said that's really weird maybe maybe I should have fancier graphics on or maybe uh, if I turn brightness down that'll fix some issues but I'll mess around with it and try to figure out see if there's a okay now I'm getting lag spikes just like before this is this is fantastic this is just just great um anyway guys uh, I'm gonna try to fix some stuff with Optifine and everything and I, I won't be back I promise this time <laughs> but hopefully we'll be back for next week to record more Dungecraft so anyway I'll see you guys uh, next week hopefully peace out